So this is the month, so July is, we, I think we have three clearings this month. So we're going to be working with some of the self-negativity, self-judgments, things of that nature. I have a feeling that almost everybody, all of humanity in some way has some sort of self-talk or self-judgment or something where we're finding fault or where the mind's continually running little, little stories or, you know how sometimes we get hooked into uh, a situation will happen and we might have uh, an experience and then we can't let go of it. We c it keeps kind of spinning over and over and over. And it has like, the, and it, what it does is it causes the body to feel angst. Sometimes it might cause a feeling of anxiety or it might even cause um, feelings <coughs> of depression. But you know, it's like the mind, you just, it's just going, going, going. You can't get off that loop. Okay. So something that's really important to remember too is your body has a lot of interference and most people have no idea about the interference. Most people think that this lifetime is it and that all our issues, all our problems stem from this lifetime, okay? So straight up, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Almost nothing started in this lifetime. It's all started from past incarnational experiences and some from most everyone on the planet right now, other than like the really new ones and, um, and others that are, you know, that might not have as many lifetimes, but most people have hundreds of experiences, hundreds of lifetimes already. Some people are closer to a thousand, some have over a thousand. That's a lot of lifetimes. If you look at just this life and you look at what you've lived, Okay, and multiply that exponentially and you're going to have a lot of energy in your energy field. So when you do come into this incarnational experience, you're basically carrying forward in your soul imprint all of your experiences. Okay, and all those experiences are going to be compounded because it's like over and over, same old, same old. You know how in this lifetime you keep repeating the same lessons, so to speak, or the same experiences, or you have things that seem like, wow, I've been there, done that, you know, been, had that experience, when's this going to be over? And sometimes what's really happening is if you, whatever you have not cleared from the past, you're going to try and clear it this time. And that's true for all of your lifetimes. Every time you go in and you make these agreements, okay, this time I'm gonna get this part cleaned up, I'm gonna not need to have this kind of experience anymore, and you come into the body, forgetting happens, and you do it again. Because the energy is still in your energy field, you're trying to unravel it. And it doesn't just go away because in your mind you're thinking, oh, I wanna be done with this. You cannot rise above it, you cannot just make it go away. It's energy of an experience or many, many, many experiences that you have done repeatedly and they cause energies to stay locked into your energy field in your body. And then of course you bring more and more and more of those same experiences to you over and over again. So pretty soon, you know, you find yourself being taught, being shown um, through whether it's through your parents, whether it's through churches, whether it's through schools, whether it's through your peers, your family, your friends, your cousins, your brothers, your sisters, your uncles, your aunts, your grandparents, all of it. Everyone's feeding into you the same kind of thing that they've been buying into that has been going on for millions and millions and millions of years, whether you're on planet Earth or you're somewhere else. Okay, so you've been indoctrinated. All of us have been indoctrinated into negative thinking self-judgment, there's something wrong with me. How many times as a kid, you got really excited about something only to find out that, oh, don't do that, don't think that, don't want that, don't need that, don't hope for that, don't touch that. You're wrong, you're bad. And of course, what's gonna happen is now you start imploding your thoughts, your feelings onto yourself, okay? So those feelings start creating this, this cycle, this churning, this anxiety, this depression, all these energies that create these thoughts that you can't let go of. Okay, so when something happens, you're already amped up, you're already primed, you're already geared to start making yourself wrong, to have self-judgments, to find fault with, to find the negative, 
And rather than, you know, like if people, if you start focusing on the good stuff, then lots of different things will start to happen. But we can't do that when we have all this energy inside of us from our soul imprint that we're still trying to unravel. So in clearings, it's an opportunity to start releasing at a really deep, deep, deep level, at the cellular level, that even goes beyond the cellular level, it goes into the soul imprint level, okay? So if you were to imagine your, your soul's journey throughout all your lifetimes, if you could actually see that, you would see that in the beginning you start off as this beautiful clear light of energy. And each time you come in, your, um, your experiences, whatever they are, stay stuck in your soul imprint, okay? So over time, that beautiful light that you are starts to get murky and clouded, and pretty soon, most of humanity that's here on planet Earth right now, if we looked at their soul imprint to see what they've carried over, is gonna be black. Black, with stuff, with traumas and shocks and horrors and pain and grief and sadness and despair and all these emotions that you didn't release, but you collected more and more and more and more and more evidence of why you gotta hold on to that, why life sucks, why life is difficult, why life is challenging, because you haven't cleared it. You know how people don't wanna be here, people that are like suicidal and people that do check out? You know, they're talking about how horrible it is here? It's not horrible here, it's the emotions inside. It's the reactions to life and the taking of personal your life situation that causes this pain inside. The world is obviously an awesome place. Yeah, we have storms and you know, winter and snow and things like that. We may not like, but ultimately it's an amazing, astounding, beautiful place, planet Earth. So <clears throat> we are trying to unravel, but we don't understand that our body is full of past incarnational traumas and shock. So you're doing your best to, to be this divine light being that you are, but it's difficult to be that when there's all this energy blocking your divinity, okay? You do create your reality 100%, but you're creating it based on <laughs> all of your experiences. So if you haven't cleared those, those experiences are still gonna interfere with who you are, with your life right here, right now, and unraveling that you know, it's a bit of a journey. Good news is, is the veils are thinning, everything's accelerated, and energy is moving faster now than it ever has, which is so cool, really awesome, okay? So those thoughts where we find what's wrong with ourselves, with others, with life, with the world, and that's negativity, you know? And also, here's another thing that's really cool. Your brain has neural pathways, I think you already know this, okay? When you focus on negative, then pretty soon those neural pathways start connecting negative energies, negative thoughts, and that seems to become what you run on. That's why even if you do have your body full of negative stuff or pain, suffering, grief, despair, all that, if you continue to keep look, looking at and finding positive, your neural pathways will start to shift and change, okay? So your neural pathways are all right now geared into this negative. That's why when something happens, you get on that loop and you can't get off of it, that mind train of negative thinking, negative, this is, sucks, life is difficult, or even with somebody else, finding fault with somebody else, or feeling like someone is judging you, or finding fault with you, and you're you know, that making yourself wrong, the negative, 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 okay? So one of the things you can do is every time you do find yourself on that negative mind train because you're gonna be astounded once you start paying attention, how frequently, how often, and how long it just keeps going, okay? So if you catch it when it's happening and just you know, recognize, recognize it, go, oh, okay, here's that mind train again. I'm on the negative mind train. Let me just jump to the positive mind train. I mean, if I'm gonna be on the mind train, I might as well do something that makes me feel better. You will start to help your own process. You will start to help your brain repattern the neural pathways, which is what we want to do. And by getting clearings on the negative energy, the negative judgments, things like that, that makes everything much easier. Okay, so 
what we're going to be doing today is just focusing on the, the thoughts, the feelings, the incidents, the times, the situations, the events, the people, the circumstances where you find yourself finding what's wrong, the negative, even the poor me, the victim stuff, okay? So what people don't realize is you have perverse pleasure in your own suffering, okay? I remember waking up to that. This was back in the 90s when I woke up to that. I was kind of shocked. And, but then I could feel it. It was like, oh, wow, there is this pleasure in feeling so bad. It's like, whoa, what is up with that? But, um, but everybody has it because it's like it starts off really young and it becomes familiar, kind of like familiar family, you know, so we feel, start to feel good about feeling bad. So part of the journey is also waking up to that. Once you wake up that you do have an attachment to feeling bad, that that is something that is in your reality. I mean, if you, you know, part of this is like being willing to face ourselves, being willing to tell ourselves the truth, no matter what that is, and to find and feel that there is perverse pleasure or pleasure in our suffering, if you wake up to it, then, pretty, then it allows you to start catching it more and going, you know, I think I want to mature. I think I want to grow up around this one. I'm ready to let that one go. And as that happens, then, then you stop enjoying the, pervert, the pleasure in your suffering, and then there's a more opportunity, and then you start moving in a forward direction of releasing that pain and suffering, or the pleasure in our pain and suffering, okay? So negative, the negative thoughts. It's like it's so ingrained in most of humanity that we have to work a little bit, have some effort and to make those choices where we're going to make a difference, make a difference for ourselves by, with intention. I guarantee you though, clearings will absolutely help the process. Absolutely help, okay? Now, okay, what I was going to say earlier is you have many, many, many interferences that are ju not just coming from your soul imprint. Okay, you have interferences in ways that most people are clueless and have no idea or no concept. You have other, one of the biggest factors, you have other entities inside your body. Okay, so people that are new and haven't been here before, I'm going to tell you straight up. Entities are what we call disincarnate beings, which are actually people who have passed away. And they are actually what we call dead people. Okay. These people don't go into light, they stay stuck here, but whatever your frequency holds, whatever your energy holds, whatever traumas you've got, not just from this lifetime, but from all of your incarnational experiences, that frequency creates a match and more and more and more of the same will come into your body so that you pretty soon you're inundated with other, other beings inside with the same kind of thoughts, same kind of feelings. So it compounds what you're experiencing tremendously. So we start taking those out. There's also what we call energetic implants. And those implants, sometimes those implants are literally created to keep you in a certain frequency, in a certain mindset, and to have certain experiences. Because you're, for the ones that are putting these energies inside of you, you're just a scientific research, you're a scientific study. Sometimes you've been being tracked for lifetimes with the same energies in your energy field. So you reincarnate and they put the same mechanisms inside of your body to create feelings, emotions, reactions, behaviors, thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and on and on and on. And it literally affects your life right now. So we want to take all of those things out of your body. And then also you have interferences from the powers of darkness, dark interferences. Okay, if you've, simple things like how many times you've ever hated something or hated someone or wanted to punish somebody or wanted to cause someone harm, or you want to revenge or, you know what I mean? Any time where you have had negative feelings, negative thoughts, desires for somebody else or even for yourself, you're opening the gateways, you're opening the doors for the powers of darkness to enter into your world, to enter into your life. You're inviting them. Unknowingly, you are inviting them. I'm going to tell you guys a quick story. Way back, this was many, many years ago, there's a place called Sierra Hot Springs in California. I was asked to do a clearing there. I went there. It had been a place where 
not mafia had come, gambling, prostitution, murder, all kinds of things. The energy is, was really dark. And I was, you know, they had had people coming, putting stakes in the ground, all kinds of different things to try and shift the energy. So when I went there, another friend went with me and we started tracking to see what was happening. And I found this Native American. The moment he saw me, he attacked me. And I let him know I'm not the one who did this to you, to your people. Then he, I was shown that he had, got, it was his tribe. There were Indians living there and his tribe had gone out going hunting, they come back, massacred, his, family, his host tribe was massacred. His energy is hatred, his wanting revenge to the white man. He opened up portals in the earth itself, black, black, black. I saw it for miles and miles and miles, these huge, huge tunnels, wormholes of energy coming right through and right up to that energy field. What that did is his hatred opened that energy up so only darkness was happening there, so negative things were happening there. So of course things like the Mafia came and, and other people that were, you know, prostitution and murder and, you know, death, things of that nature, of course, because the energy frequency was there, okay? So people don't realize this, but you open up energy fields, you open up portals in the ground in the earth itself and you pull darkness and you release it onto the earth plane with your negativity, with your darkness, with your hatred. In fact, if you were able to track energy and see the different countries, like for example, like countries like Afghanistan, Pakistan, um, like uh, Iraq, Iran, the places where there's like the really um, dark meaning uh, judgments of, hum of women and you know what I mean? The, um, well, they have to cover themselves and you're less than. So those areas, if you look at that and watch that, there are so many portals and huge openings of just blackness coming in. Well, that blackness comes into people's bodies as well. And that blackness causes people to feel more hatred, to feel more judgmental, to feel more separation. And in that, they become darker and darker, okay? So we are doing the same thing in our own lives. When we have negativity, we, when, when we get angry with somebody or when we want to cause harm, even if you don't let yourself go there in your mind, the feeling is still inside. You are opening up portals. I'm going to tell you straight up. You're opening up darkness and you're releasing and unleashing darkness onto the planet. We are all contributing to the, the, ex the experience that we are, are having right now. We're all co-creators, okay? But the more you wake up to this, and the more you just keep knowing and remembering, you are creator incarnate, you are a divine being. In the core of your being, you are just divine light, you are love, just no different than some of the other messiahs or masters that have walked the planet, like Jesus or Buddha or um, Confucius or Krishna or different, different beings that have literally been teachers and, and leaders of truth. Okay, so you are that. You really are. So what we want to do is start clearing what isn't you because it does help. It does make a difference. The mind quiets down. The negativity quiets down. Okay, so in today's clearing, I don't know, for people who um, have not been here before, okay, so here's, the, here's what's really cool. You can invite other people to come in. How that looks is... When you want to bring somebody in, you think of them, you invite them, welcome them, call them in. And what ha it's not that their body comes in, but their etheric energy field, their etheric body that they are does come in. And I literally see it in the room. Okay? So they get to come in and have a clearing. What's really cool about this is they may not know that anything is being done. You know what I mean? They're not knowing that you've called them in unless you tell them. But I guarantee you their lives are going to change. They're going to change, okay? They, may, they won't know why it's changing, but they'll start getting happier. More, more, more things will start presenting for them. More good things will start happening for them. And they didn't know what happened. It doesn't really matter. It's like, it's really, really about let them wake up, okay? So you get to call anybody you want in. You can call as many as you want. It doesn't matter to me. Call everybody you want, okay? They'll come in. I'll sense and feel their presence, and the same thing is gonna, I'm going to do with them, I'm going to do with you. I'm going to ask you to ask for my presence to be right beside you. So even though I'm right here talking, 
I'm asking you, ask for me to be right beside you. You'll feel me right there. You'll feel me right next to you, okay? So there's a reason for that. It helps me to just focus on you individually while leading, leading it here. We good? Um, your camera on your computer is not working, so if they can hear me. Okay, that's fine. I don't think they can hear. Okay, we'll just let them be able to hear. Okay, okay. we'll eventually get this dialed in. All right. So, um, and then another thing too is what I need from you is I need you to just let yourself feel. When you think about these negative thoughts, when you think about your worries or your fears or your anxieties, I want you to let that happen because it lights up in your body what that is. Okay, so I'll be looking for the entities, I'll be looking for dark energy, I'll be looking for past lives, I'll be looking for the implants, I'll be looking for all kinds of things, and the energy will shift and move. Oops, sorry. Uh, and, you know, so, so the main thing is, is that you let yourself just feel into the energy, and then I'll have you forget about it, okay? So what happens is the energy actually lights up inside of you. So I'll see the entities, I'll see the, the past lives, I'll see the implants, I'll see the dark force interferences and all the diff many different things that are in your energy field. Another thing too is we want to clear out enough so that you feel changed but we're not traumatized. If your body has a lot of energy that's not you and we take out too much, you're not going to know who you are. I mean, you're going it to, can, it can, you might feel lost, you might feel like you don't know who you are, you know what I mean? So we don't want to do that. We want to take out enough that there's movement, but not too much so that you're able to function and be in the world, okay? So emotions can come, energy, lots of things can happen. Just let it happen. Just let it happen, okay? Energy, because there's a lot getting stirred up. I'll probably put a little bit of paddle wheels, moving energy in your bodies and um, just getting moving things out okay so the best way to get something to get the most out of the experience is like I said when you think about your life and you think about the negative thoughts the negative feelings that's what I want you to light up for me your fears your worries about yourself this is going to be about yourself now I mean I know we all do that with other people and let's make it let's really focus on the self right this time okay